What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, I have the steel FS 56 RC. Last week it started to bog down on high idle. And before we get into the carburetor, we're gonna check one other thing out. Let me show you exactly what it's doing here. So it sounds like it's bogging down on high idle. Now, I just fixed my steel blower. It's a BG, maybe a BG56 as well, not sure. But let's dive in, let me show you exactly what we're gonna do. Uh, attempt to do to this weed eater here before we jump into the carburetor, and I think we'll be able to fix it. So, just like our bodies, we need oxygen in and oxygen out. I believe we're getting oxygen in on the motor, but I believe the oxygen out is being clogged up. And as you can see, I really do kind of go maybe a little heavy on the oil here. I just want this right here to last me as long as it will. I want to say this is maybe four years old right now. What I'm going to start with is just a steel tool. And we're going to use the uh, end of the steel tool to remove this back cover. There's going to be uh, three bolts holding it on. Now, once you have the three uh, bolts removed and the cover, go ahead and set those aside. Next, we're gonna grab a flathead screwdriver here. And there's gonna be a flathead bolt right here in the side of the exhaust. We're gonna take that and we're gonna loosen it up. There's a screw, we don't wanna lose it either. This is the exhaust here. And there is a screen right here. Now I got some needle nose pliers. We need to reach in, grab the screen, and pull it out like so all right guys this is the screen but how dirty is it let's point you guys up to the sky and see if we can see through it you can barely see through it on the sides but in the middle it's clogged now there's a couple of different ways you could do this actually you could take the spark arrestor out and just throw it away if you wanted to i believe it's there don't quote me but i believe it's there just in case you're, say, you're working in like a environment that's very dry and that, you know, one perfect moment that a spark leaves the exhaust system, uh, it would catch the ground on fire. I think that might be why. Um, I know I've seen people take these out. I've seen people drill these. But what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using a propane torch here. We're going to burn the spark arrestor. And then once we get it nice and red, we're going to blow it with the... Um, shop air. All right, and you can pretty much see through that all the way now. I'm gonna still take my shop air and kind of blow it out as much as we can. Look how clean that is. All right. The tricky part is gonna be putting the screw back in there without burning your fingers. All right, we got that back in place. Let's go ahead and set the cover in place now. All right, guys, got the camera zoomed back out. Let's see if our, our cheap and inexpensive fix did it real quick. Well, there it is, guys. That's, uh, that's one, I, I would say that's probably the easiest method to try and to fix a weeder that's bogging down on high idle. So that being said, I'll see y'all guys later. 